Hello, my fellow Americans. Tis I, the rumpled one. January 20th, 2015. Year, the day after Martin Luther King Day. Interesting times right now. Some people think we've progressed. Some people think we've digressed. What do you think? I know one thing that I think. I have this feeling in the pit of my stomach that things aren't really going to change ever. Ever. Not until man stops walking the face of this planet. And the reason I say that because if you, if you read history, if you look at history, you study history at all, you'll see everywhere there is some kind of corruption. I think it's just some people, it must be genetic. I don't think you can think of one institution in this country where there isn't some form of con corruption. There's always somebody forcing somebody else against the law. I mean, our president doesn't follow the law. There's stuff going on in the Army, the Navy, the Marines, Air Force. The, the, I mean, the corruption in the military, secret ops, black ops, Congress. Senate, all kind of corruptions and scandals, in big business, corruptions, paying lobbyists to corrupt our elected officials, I mean our court system, the jails and prisons, guards on the take, you know, the gangs running the place. The wardens. I mean, it's just rampant. Health care, cheating the system, overbilling, billing for things that for services not performed. I mean, it's just everywhere you look. It's just corruption. Somebody always trying to take advantage. That's why I say, I don't think it's ever going to get better. I just don't. I, I don't think that it's going to change. I mean, I've even said it on a few videos. Yeah, the, the time for a revolution. You know what? I think I got it wrong. I, I don't think we need a revolution. I think we have a system that if people adhered to it, it would probably work okay. But when you have so many people gaming the system and cheating it, and finding out ways around it and, and creating loopholes and using loopholes. I, I just don't see any hope. I really don't. Not when it comes to that. So I think I just sit here on my little piece of the rock and enjoy life. I mean, there's no sense beating my head up against the wall. Is it really going to change anything? I mean, can I really get enough people to do what's necessary to change it? I mean, we've got corruption, our governors. I, I mean, it's just everywhere. Companies polluting, you know, fracking, polluting people's wells and paying them and then having things like sealed files and you can't talk about this gag orders. I mean, it's just, it's, how, how can you fix that? How can you operate in that type of society? I mean, it's a mess. You know, maybe there is one hope. It's kind of diabolical, though. Maybe 
through medicine and the research, they might find that there's a certain gene or genetic sequence that predisposes somebody. And maybe all we have to do is if that embryo has that tendency, then we just have to terminate it. That's diabolical for sure, but maybe that's the only alternative. Or maybe there will be a drug that they can give people that have that gene that will neutralize that behavior. But see, I don't think through teaching or social engineering that we can eradicate those behaviors because once again it's just too pervasive everywhere you look you know the the butcher putting his thumb on the scale I mean we, we laugh about things like that but you know, once again it's cheating so I'd like to know your thoughts I hate to paint a grim picture so early in the year, but it's like I said, I haven't made but a couple of videos this year, you know, talking to you. It's because I've been thinking about this. And it's almost to the point where, unless I can offer a real solution, I, I, like I said, I'm just preaching to the choir. You guys know what I know, for the most part. We're pretty much on the same wavelength. But it's a frustration I feel within. Because when I look and see these things and read magazines, I just don't see any hope. I hate to, I really hate to say that, but... I mean, history repeats itself. You can't argue with that. So, my fellow Americans, it's up to you. I'd like to hear what you, your thoughts on this. I really do. Maybe somebody out there has an idea. But until we can just rid or practically eliminate this corruption that's so pervasive, things aren't going to get any better. It's just time to wake up.